Anti-doping is, is part and parcel of elite sport. Um, you'll either will have be on some testing program or you will have experienced it in some way, shape or form, or you've never had the, the, the pleasure of peeing into a bottle in front of somebody. Anti-doping is, is the same in every sport. It's a part of your job that you have to do. And everyone who's going to the games ought to be on a registered testing pool doing whereabouts and the My Adams website. Um, and ultimately, it's part of the job to, co to commit to drug-free sports. I've had quite a few drug tests now, so I am quite familiar with the process. But for you know the first time, it's definitely important that you you listen. And even me, I think I've had over ten drug tests now, and um, I still learnt a few things um, and picked up a few few sort of helpful bits of information. It's been a really really good experience of anti-doping. I've had so many seminars. I've had about thirty, I think, in my career. And the guy saw me last week, and he was like, "Well, you must have been to so many of these." But um, I think it's very important because it always changes as well. So the, some of the, the things that they tell us is just changing. But the workshops and everything, I suppose, put your mind at ease and just give you a way of dealing with it on a daily basis because you do just have to live with it. Um, and it also just gives you an insight of what happens when you get dope tested, and you know it's not as taunting as it is <laughs> the first time. <laughs> You bizarrely get used to it. <laughs> a lot of athletes take supplements and stuff, and some of them might be illegal or, or might not be right to use. And I think um, you might be using it thinking that it's going to be fine, and no, and it's and it's not. And it's uh, you know it, mu it must be heartbreaking to lose a, a medal um, for something that you've really not not intentionally done anything bad. You know, just making sure that you know exactly what goes into your body is the most important part. Uh, and to make sure that you are 100% clean. Like, there are no excuses for, oh, I didn't realise that was in that yeah. bottle. You know, if you get caught out once, that's it. And, you know, it's your responsibility, and it's the same with horses. You know, if one of our horses gets pulled up positive, that's us out. That's the rider's responsibility, even if it's someone else that's given it something. And um, at the end of the day, it's your own career. I don't mind being drug-tested because I know I've not taken anything I know I've been careful but also I don't want my competitors to be taking anything banned as well so it sort of brings everything to a level playing field. It's about doing the best of your ability with what you've been given and that's the talent that you've got and what you're willing to give up. I think people know that it's not right to take to take drugs and I, I'm one of those one of those athletes that will always uh, be honest and I'd, I'd say that you know if if anyone's cheating it's not worth winning a medal for anyway you know it doesn't it takes away all that special special feeling of winning a medal so I would never want to take drugs. Keeping the sport clean is literally our number one priority uh, at the end of the day I try and be as open as possible I try and do as many drug tests as they're, they're willing to kind of send my way uh, and I try and perform at the best I can there's no no secrets with me it's all about literally getting on the bike and performing at the best I can. Every athlete that gets tested with a, a negative test, then that's great because it's proving that the majority of athletes, you know, 99.9% .9 of us are absolutely clean and we're not interested in cheating to, to get to our gold medals. We just want to be clean athletes who compete in a fair environment. So it's part of the job. And so everything that comes with that, filling out your whereabouts, that hour a day that you have to do, um, going to the extra education if you're new to it all and understanding the processes. Knowing everything that you need to know so that it's not a panic, it's not a worry. If you get tested on day one and you're racing again on day two, it's not going to throw you. It's just part of that process. It's a little bit like the warm-up, the warm-down anti-doping.